How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Sunday Night Heat, episode number five on the Holds Barred Wrestling Podcast, a show where myself, Kyle Masters, discusses and or rants about trending topics in the WWE. You can follow the show on Twitter and join in the conversation by tweeting at TSNH show and using the hashtag TSNH. You can also follow the podcast itself at No Holds Barred WP, as well as into any previous episodes on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher, and Spreaker. Today's topic, ladies and gentlemen, for episode number five is roster trades. Yes, we will be discussing any roster trades that you guys think out there and I think need to be done. Um, we all know there needs to be some much needed trades. Let's be honest. Um, some superstars could benefit from going to other brands than what brands they're on now. Uh, there's a lot of superstars that should be on different brands and it would actually benefit them career wise. Um, my opinion and also your opinions out there. I'm hoping there are some real life trades coming up soon. Um, that would be really, really cool to see and to see how they do it. Um, definitely needs to be a shake up soon. I think, uh, there's a lot of stuff that's getting a little bit stale, a lot of a repeat feud. So a trade would be really good right now. Um, some superstars get, uh, need to be traded and more focused on rather than, you know, the others, I guess I should say, like, uh, Golden Truth, Shining Stars, and they bring back these stupid fucking part-timers, like the fucking headbangers, we all know how much I hate them, and the Spirit Squad, that god-awful Spirit Squad, get the fuck off TV, it's all I have to say about that, you know, etc., teams like that, people that get more focused on rather than the others, and I think trades would definitely help, so... I asked you guys out there uh, who should be traded into which brand, and uh, you guys have said why as well. So I'll get into your tweets right now, and we'll start off with Glorious Greg. He puts, I want Cesaro and Zayn and Neville to be traded to SmackDown. Also, Ty Dillinger gets called up to SmackDown. That's interesting. You know, I love Ty Dillinger, and me and Corporate Cap, we do Niagara Falls homeboy here. Um you know, that'd be uh, pretty cool to see him go up to SmackDown. I think he could benefit from SmackDown. Uh, Greg, as you said, Cesaro, Zane, Neville. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. If Neville went over to SmackDown, though, I'd love to see him in the 205 live show, though. He'd be a pretty uh, good add to that 205 division and uh, would definitely benefit from that show as well. Cesaro and Zane, we'll get into uh, what I think about them. All right, so we'll get into some other tweets here. I can pull it up. Twitter's being a little slow right now. All right. So again, I asked you guys out there, um, which who do you think you should get traded into which brand? We'll start off with Tony Mercer, Recrem, why not? Luke Harper could be kicked out of Wyatt's and go to Raw. Hmm, that's interesting. He's underutilized and has been for years. He might be better on SmackDown or better off on SmackDown Live. Hmm. I think he actually meant he should uh, uh better off on Raw, I think you meant. I think that makes sense. I think Luke Harper is definitely underutilized. I mean, he has some singles matches on SmackDown, but he's facing fucking Kane. And no one wants to see him face fucking Kane forever. And he can't, he's a really good wrestler. If you guys know Luke Harper, he's a really good wrestler. I remember seeing him back in the day in like Dragon Gate and like local shows. He's a really good wrestler. Um, so I think that he could benefit from a singles push on Raw. I agree with you there, Tony. He also puts Sami Zayn and Cesaro for Apollo Crews and Kalisto. Mm, Kalisto should be in the Cruiserweight division, and Apollo could be as well. Yes. Um, Apollo Crews definitely could be a boost on Raw if they push him the right way. Kalisto, you might as well not trade him. Just put him over the 205 Live and then bring Sami and Cesaro over, which I'll go over with my opinions. But yes, I think Apollo could be used well and better on Raw since he's not being used at all on SmackDown unless they're re- planning a repackage. I don't know. Next, we got Chuck Wilson. He puts Cesaro to SmackDown Live, Miz to Raw. Yep, I like that. Actually, let me correct that. Send Sheamus to SmackDown Live as well. Raw can take the Ascension. Mm-hmm. And we'll get into my thoughts about that as well. Michael Chow puts Raw's Sheamus Cesaro for SmackDown Live's Brazongo. I think that'd be a really good idea. He puts Brazongo repackaged as a more serious team like the Usos and Cesaro and Sheamus go solo. You know what? I like that. I really like that trade a lot. Puts Raw's Big E for SmackDown Live's Luke Harper. Kofi and Woods remain on New Day while Big E is solo and Harper teams with Strowman as a new tag team on Raw. That is awesome. I actually like that trade a lot. New Day doesn't need three members, even though, you know, with three of them, it's a comedic factor. Big E, Solo, God, that's so tough to see. And for him to go back to serious roles is going to be really tough because of how comedic he is now and how much he's gone a long way with the New Day. So that'd be really tough to see. Another trade, Michael Chow puts Roz, TJ Perkins, Cedric Alexander for SmackDown Live's Kalisto and Ellsworth, but we know with the, the 205 Live, that's not really going to work. Um, I do, I will get into what I think about Ellsworth later. 
Uh, and yeah, those are his trades. Thank you, Michael Chow. Uh, irrelevance at Fuller and put Sami Zayn Cesaro need to be on SmackDown. Cesaro, not so much because I'm loving the new team with Cesaro and Sheamus. Yes, I agree with you there. I would love to see in the future where Cesaro and Sami goes with their current roles they have. Mm-hmm. You know, I would love to see that too. I really hope it's something big because we'll get into what I think about Sami and Cesaro, but I really do agree with you there. Irrelevance. But if I had to choose, I'd say Kane and Swagger go to Raw. You know what? Kane doesn't need to go anywhere. The guy needs to get the fuck off both brands and just stay as a corporate role because I'm sick and fucking tired of him. My lord. Um, Swagger, God, he came back and where the hell did he fucking go? Where is Jack Swagger? We should have brought that up on the lowdown. Where the fuck is Jack Swagger? Oh, man. I just I don't understand that. Uh, next tweets. We got more from Michael Chow here. R- Ross McFoley versus SmackDown's Daniel Bryan. Good twist face Bryan now working with heel Stephanie and heel Foley working with face Shane. You know what? That's actually interesting. Oh, that would be, that'd be something. Can you imagine they switch GMs? Wow. That'd be a big, big, big thing. Uh, NXT's Ty Dillinger and Billy Kay for Ross Titus O'Neill and Alicia Fox. <laughs> God, NXT would improve Tyson Fox in the is a veteran that could challenge for Oscar. Yeah, I see that too. That's awesome idea too. Wow, I never thought of it that way as well. Thank you, Michael Chow. He also puts NXT's Bobby Roode and Ember Moon for SmackDown Live's Jack Swagger and Eva Marie. <laughs> Swagger is a big talent that could dominate NXT, and Eva needs more training. One hundred and fifty thousand percent agree. They could also send Dana Botch down there to fucking retrain her too. My God, they're just both god awful. Um. He definitely brought Eva Marie up way, way too fast. Next one comes from Cullen at GammaNU1 on Twitter. Puts Cesaro and Sami Zayn to SmackDown for Ambrose and Miz. And then call up Revival to Raw and Samoa Joe to SmackDown. I really like those traits too, Cullen. So thank you for those. And thank you to everyone who participated on that. I really like your ideas and really like your trades. So we'll get into my part of the show and my top five trades. I have five trades uh, to go over here and it'll be one it'll be man for man or team for team so we'll go over each one so my first trade that i think should happen is Sami Zayn to smackdown live it needs to happen asap we all know that it would be he would be a huge top contender on smackdown live i think and i think all y'all think too he is a future world champion for sure they can do an underdog story with him to win the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, and it would be really good for his career. He needs to have the world title. It's long, long overdue. Sami Zayn is just an extraordinary piece of talent. I think he definitely deserves a world title soon. Um, he'll be traded for The Miz. I think Miz is pissing off Dana Bryan Shane so much right now for his continuous cheating and Miz basically challenging at Bryan all the time um, and pissing him off more even on Talking Smack. So I think Dana Bryan could finally crack once and just send him to Raw to get rid of him and just to shut his ass up. And, you know, Miz can benefit on Raw too. He can go over for the U.S. title and he can benefit in that mid card, maybe even be that uh, secondary guy in the world title picture because Miz has a lot to back that up with he's had uh, a WWE title run before so and he's won money in the bank so he's got a lot of uh career uh stats to build him up for a main card feud so i think miz could benefit on raw and Sami Zayn obviously could benefit on smackdown where we all think he should go Next trade, I think the club to go to SmackDown Live. I'm sick and tired of them getting buried on on Raw. I think all y'all out there agree with me. They would benefit in the SmackDown tag team division. They have to stop fucking burying them. This team that was so dominant in New Japan Pro Wrestling to this crap they've been doing on Raw the last couple of months. Um, They can reunite with AJ Styles on SmackDown and be the club as they promote themselves as still. Same with Styles. He still has the club uh, logos all over him. They can be very dominant on SmackDown as they should be and like as me and corporate copy have said before they need that third man to, to boost them up and what better man to do it than aj styles um they would be traded for the ascension and again another team that just gets buried all the time on smackdown they were so dominant at nxt i think they could be a dominant team to compete with the new day and others on raw just no more fucking burying make the ascension the top compet- competitive team on Raw and the top heel team on Raw, and they'll get over, guaranteed. Um, another trade, Baron Corbin to Raw. No more feuds that make no sense on SmackDown. None of that shit. There is none. He could feud with Ambrose, as my uh, corporate co said, but you know what? That's it. After that, like, what does he do? 
I'm just tired of him and fucking Kalisto going at it right now. It's making me so mad. I think he could benefit to be on Raw. Um, there's some feuds he can do on Raw. He can feud with Strowman. He could be that other big guy to feud with Strowman. He could feud with Rusev. You can make him a he- uh, a face. Or you can feud with Roman Reigns. Keep him as a heel. And Roman's obviously the face, but does get booed. But you can get Baron Corbin over like that and have them feud. That would be an awesome feud. I would love to see Baron Corbin versus Roman Reigns. Not going to lie. So this is interesting. Now, hear me out, guys, with this trade. So, Baron Corbin traded to Raw for Brock Lesnar. Yes, you heard that right. Brock Lesnar. And this is why. So, after their feud is done, after his feud is done with Goldberg, he's got no one else to feud with really on Raw. Like, no one that I want to see him feud with anymore. So, when he goes over to SmackDown, there's salt. I mean, you're going to hear certain superstars, my list is names here, that he's feud with before, but it'd be really nice to rekindle the feud and see what they can do after that. So, he can feud with AJ Styles, John Cena, Dean Ambrose, Bray Wyatt, that'd be a crazy feud, and even Randy Orton. Just guys like that he can rebuild a feud with or start a new feud with. I think he'd be a really good boost for SmackDown Live to have Brock Lesnar on that show. And you can, I mean, he's only part time, so why the fuck not? Like, he it doesn't need to be on Raw. Um, so yeah, Corbin for Lesnar, I think would be, I know it's not realistic, but I think that'd be a pretty good trade. Next trade. I think Emma, the returning Emma Lena, whatever she wants to be fucking called to SmackDown. She doesn't need to be on raw. There's too much overshadowing going on on raw right now. She'd be a perfect fit. I think for the SmackDown women's division, um, there's lots of talent on raw already. Uh, she doesn't need to be over there. I don't think she should be Emma Lena though. I think she should be the heel Emma. I think everyone loves this new heel Emma. It works for her character. It works for her. Raw already has too many fucking people. They got Sasha Banks, Charlotte, Bailey, Nia Jax. They get the returning Tamina and eventually Paige will come back. So I think she'd be do, I think she'd be a perfect fit for SmackDown, uh, later on. So you know what? Uh, Keep her on SmackDown or trade her over to SmackDown. And trade her for Natalia. She's fucking useless on SmackDown. <laughs> her stupid two pause shit and her coaching crap. It's just bullshit and annoying. Um we don't need it anymore on Natalia or we don't need it anymore from Natalia on SmackDown. Uh she could be used in a secondary feud role on Raw, I think. Uh, maybe with Bailey or Nia Jax or, you know, even Tamina Snuka, something. I think it would be a decent feud. And they can build her as a face again. A heel Natalia is just, it doesn't work. Um, she feels more like a Raw woman's wrestler to me anyway. So I think she could definitely benefit from there. And Emma could definitely benefit from SmackDown. Getting into the last trade, uh, Cesaro to SmackDown. Um, let's just pretend right now, guys, that the Cesaro and Sheamus tag team thing ain't happening and it's not actually, uh, good and I don't actually like it. Um, Cesaro needs a serious singles title push. It's way, 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 way long overdue. We've been wanting to see it for years now. Even when we first started this podcast, we've been wanting Cesaro to get pushed. And ever since then, he's got so close, but not even that close enough to a one-on-one title match for a major title. It's way long overdue, as I just said. Um, he needs a world title to, to, to just to elevate that career to almost legendary status. I love Cesaro. Great wrestler. Great piece of talent. He needs a world title. Um, can't make him mad anymore, WWE. Got to gotta literally look at the big picture here. He would be a top superstar on SmackDown 100%. So I agree with you guys out there that uh, he should be traded over to SmackDown. And I think, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, he should be traded for no one else but fucking James Ellsworth. Get away from AJ Styles, you no-chin stooge turtle without a shell little shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but come on. You got to agree with me here. Ellsworth needs to stay away from that main title picture and AJ Styles. Get the fuck away. You've been three times. Just go. I don't want to. I don't even remember that. Just go. Trade him for Ellsworth. He could be a com- a comedic relief on Raw, I think, um, for that huge three-hour gap they have to fucking fill every Monday night. Um Keep him in the mid card. You know what? Do some stuff with Golden Truth and the Shining Stars. I don't care. Do some comic relief shit. Be like Titus O'Neil's hype man. Do something that stays away from the main title picture because he doesn't need to be there. I I don't care if he deserves it. You guys think he deserves it. He just needs to stay away. He's had his opportunity. Whatever. He's had his moment of glory. He has a fucking t-shirt that was sold out in the first goddamn week. Just get away from the title picture. Get away, Ellsworth. Go over to Raw and just be that role of a guy. (laughs) Literally. I'm just sick and tired of it. I know a lot of you guys out there are sick and tired of it too. But yeah, those are my five top five trades, guys. Agree with me or, you know, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. So Sami Zayn 
to SmackDown for The Miz, uh, The Club to SmackDown for The Ascension, Baron Corbin to Sm- uh, to Raw for Brock Lesnar, and Emma to SmackDown for Natalia, and finally Cesaro to SmackDown for James Ellsworth. So those are my top five trade guys. I love your trades out there. Some interesting ideas as well. So... Other than that, that's probably going to wrap it up for the Sunday Night Heat episode number five, guys, on No Holds Barred Wrestling Podcast. A show where myself, Kyle Masters, discusses and rants about training topics in the WWE. Remember, you can follow the show on Twitter at TSNA Show and use the hashtag TSNH to join in on all conversations. That's going to do it for today's show, guys. I'm Kyle Masters. Stay fired up, y'all. <laughs>